This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Hi, it's playtime. Do you want to come to the circus with me? Welcome to my next production of The Big Top. I haven't had sleep. But um yeah, it's back for another raw view. Dragula <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Dragula, I don't even know what episode it is, child. But y'all know how we do it, honey. Welcome back, piggies. Keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Yes, thank y'all for coming back for another raw view. Um, yeah. As always, keep it cute in the comment section. Or you'll be blocked and chopped immediately. Hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are safe and healthy. And all those good things. Um, as always, we're going to read um, comments. And I save all the tips for my Canada versus the world video. So please make sure you tip, you know, tip and support. And like and subscribe to the channel. Please do that. All that information is in the description box down below. I just did a raw view for RPDR Season 15. Cast reveal, meet the queens. Make sure you check that out. And yeah, comment. I feel for Melissa because... If you look at it, she's only called everybody fake and two-faced because that's what her ex-husband did to her. He basically never said anything to her on how he felt, made everything feel like it was okay. Then just left her and said, I don't love you anymore. So seeing all the drama and the fakeness around her was triggering from what she just has experienced with her ex-husband. So I don't think it was them per se. It was what she went through because before going on the show. I'm sorry, but what... Whatever her, you know, 16-year-old husband did to her. Uh, <laughs> whatever her husband did to her has nothing to do with how she's supposed to treat treat the girls in the room. You know, like, yes, sometimes th those things can, like, ruin you or whatever. But it's like, just because you're you're going through it with your husband don't mean you don't come in here and talk to me any kind of way. Y'all know I'll be snacking. I've been snacking. I've been snacking. Potato chips and Luigi Icy. Luigi Icy. Going down my throat, throat, throat. Down my throat. Blue raspberry on a white spoon. On a white spoon. <laughs> wow. Mm. You can tell by the way this is going down my throat. That my throat died of natural causes. Now, Victoria... Am I allowed to call the Queen's Fish for the literal fish challenge? Or is that still too offensive? <laughs> this is still on the Dragula comments. But says, I like Legendary because I know the people from the scene. It was great to see them get their shine. But just like RPDR f up drag, HBO was going to run, was going to ruin ballroom. Oh, I mean, that could be true. The more it goes mainstream. Hi, Nina. My understanding about the AI thing is that, and they mean that Lindsay app I was talking about is that it scans the internet and art made by real people and compiles it to make the product. So a lot of people are complaining that it's stealing or replicating the work of real people. Well, that's what I, you know, what I was saying, you know. I see what you're saying. Saint look like who from the Grinch? <laughs> I can't. Speaking of who from the Grinch, hey Tim. 
if anybody in the YouTube world wants to date a nice, um, semi-decent looking white man um, from the trailer park, but a heart of gold, um, his favorite fashion is red Donald Trump hats. Oh, and he loves Meryl Mingle. You have to remember that. Um, his name is Timothy. So if y'all want to get to know him, message me and I will hook y'all up. Now, he won't show you his face. So you'll have to just pretend, you know, so. But just, you know, I'm all about giving back to the community. Why is the drama pick and choose? Like Melissa keeps bringing up this drama, but she also is the one person to stir the pot and then go out of the room to avoid drama, but then talk about drama. V they have one shady comment getting highlighted for no reason. They keep showing this evil clip with Yaska and Kendra where she said Yaska's outfit was better and she didn't want Kendra to go home. Like that was two faced, two things can be true. So many, so many more pick and choose things, yet it only seems to matter when it comes to Coco and Melissa's side because they are the ones that bring up stuff where the others don't. You can see that. Pearl, oh sorry, people's negative comments about Christy really made me despise a certain community even more. Yeah, just say the gay, so. <laughs> I mean, Kirstie Alley who passed away. There was more to Kirstie than just some opinions she had. It's such a shame that she spent her last years being banished from Hollywood, canceled by her fellow actor friends and the internet people. To me, this is more cruel than her saying she voted Trump because she was sick of all the politicians. Kirstie Alley deserved better. Rest in peace. Like, yeah, like, I mean, like, here's the thing. If you want to vote for Trump, do you? I don't look, I mean, you know, I did, I was hearing about a, a bunch of things about her. Like, you know, she was into the Scientology and all these things and everything. And, you know, that's, that's, that's what she wanted to do in her personal life. Once again, I'm just looking at the person, the actress, you know, like the work she put out that I respected. You know, that's what I'm looking at. You know, because if I went around trying to get rid of everybody who follow Trump. I probably wouldn't have that many viewers right now on Twitch. So, you know. First, I don't want to be rude, but sometimes the things Victoria does isn't drag. It's great prosthetic work. She looks awesome, but it's giving movie monster, not drag. Is Jeepers Creepers a drag queen now? Sorry, drag performer. Second, why is it always the strong real ones like Melissa that break down and quit? I feel like people that overuse the word fake are still childish high schoolers. So about the movie prosthetic thing and drag, like I can get what you're saying. Um, Cause then some people could probably would try to say the same about me. But the difference is, like I said, when I do these characters or things, I still make it drag. Like I still try to feminize it, you know, and unless I'm just straight up doing a character, then it's not drag, you know, I'm just doing a character, you know? So like, for instance, like, yeah, when she did the, what I call the creature of the lagoon, whatever, it wasn't really drag, you know, it, it was literally just a creature. So, like, yeah, I get what you're saying, like, okay, like, you know, you can put all these prosthetics on, but what are you doing to make it, like, drag, you know? But, you know, it's, like, to each his own. Like, she's still putting her work in. Not the jack notification at 2510. First off, stop clocking me. Second off, why your ears so good? Thoroughly mind your business. Girl. I'm still laughing when you said I don't know why my subscribers won't go up. Probably because I blocked a million people. <laughs> I mean, but I wasn't lying. No, because you literally invented the girls of girling and inspired any this and thising. Like doll is dolling, eyebrows are eyebrowing, fish is fishing. Your impact is very real. I know, but will the girls say it now? If I'm not a fan of someone or the things they've done and they died, I'd rather say nothing as opposed to going online and being a heartless troll just for likes. Exactly. That's my thing. Like, if you don't like somebody, then just get past it. Like, somebody dies and y'all still, like, just going on their page or anybody's page and saying hateful things. But y'all swear y'all are the righteous people. No. Just go the other way. It's funny how some people don't know that these fright foots come from 17 Doors, a hunted attraction in, in California. Like, anyone can do this during Halloween season. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know it's like it has to be in some kind of haunted house where they're doing all these fright foot at. Oh. Okay, let's get to the show. I feel an immense amount of guilt about Melissa quitting. It's, it's, Why you feel guilt, Mama? She couldn't stand you. I'd be like, well, thank God. <laughs> ourselves the best we can. Yes. 
That, I shouldn't like this, but I kind of like this look. Girl, I told you, though, she, she's giving me M. Bison. More so that guy. Which game is it, y'all? Which one is the fighting game? Which one is the fighting game that has the guy with the red hat just like that? He's a white guy. He has a scar on his face. Is that Street Fighter or is that Dead or Alive? I think it's Dead or Alive. I think it is. It's a guy that literally wears a hat like that. He has a scar on his face. Fuck out crying. And not a single one of you bitches. Because she was cursing us out. Excuse you. Girl, you're doing too much, mama. She was literally cursing us out. Why am I gonna why am I gonna get up after after somebody cursed me out and be like, You okay? You need some water, some milk? No. Couldn't take the pressure. She left because of them. They have no power over her leaving. She probably was leaving. Like I said, because she probably thought she was going to go home. She was like, I'm going to quit first. They, nobody had that much power to make you leave. Like, stop it. Like, don't blame the girls. Like, no. <laughs> nobody had that much power in that room to make you leave. Unless you just want to leave because you want to leave. Girl. We'll suffer the wrath of my motherfucking curse. You well, are we not suffering it now? <laughs> What's it like being the smartest person in the room? Because everybody else seems to be too dumb to realize that they're falling for your fucking plan. So oh. <laughs> Girl, she is good. <laughs> now, Hoso, you be talking all that stuff about me online, mama. Say it to her, honey. Get her together. She just read you, mama. <laughs> girl, Coco, girl, she making enemies with everybody, girl. She said, honey, I don't need y'all. I don't need y'all. So, so, so we can be enemies, girl. Like, I can literally, I don't need y'all help. <laughs> there was no other way for y'all to understand exactly how action. Girl, not making Victoria cry. Girl. <laughs> I cannot. Now, now you're crying. Girl. Marked off as just being angry and then I'm not taking it seriously. And it's so funny because like, literally like Coco and like Melissa and them are always like, all they're tired of all the drama from the girls, the other girls. But literally she just started all that drama just now. Will be guaranteed placement in the Boulay Brothers Dragula Titans grand finale. Uh, so tonight we'll settle who will be in the finale. To completely reinvent a classic horror icon. I feel like they just did this, like th this same season, like literally they had to recreate a classic monster. So they're doing it again. And this week's judge is quite literally the horror expert. God. Let me guess, it's Elvira again. <laughs> you will be shocked with 4,500 white hot. So I guess they're doing like a lie detector thing to an electric chair. And somebody will get shocked if they're lying allegedly. And one or more of you will absolutely be dropped into the ab <gasps> So allegedly it won't be a top four. I'm assuming just a top three. So maybe two of them might get dropped allegedly. We'll see. My plan for the lie detector test was uh, to lie, obviously. <laughs> Not her plan is to lie. Mm -hmm. Dress up like a lizard in the bedroom for Astrid? Yes. <laughs> I knew they were having that weird kinky stuff in the bed. The kind of stuff that just isn't human. Did Victoria turn you on during the wrestling challenge? Yes. I hate it. <laughs> Are you attracted to anyone on the cast? No. Um, like you just said, you were turned on by Victoria, so. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> now wait, what? Ah! <laughs> no. True. If they don't ask them if they like Coco. <laughs> yes. Somebody said the producers picked these questions for the drama. I believe it. I think Coco likes getting shocked. It helps pop the hemorrhoids, okay? Are you the one sabotaging Coco? Oh, that's why they're doing this to see if somebody is allegedly sabotaging Coco and her stuff. <laughs> True. That's true. Not if Melissa was here, she would have failed it. <laughs> the one she was fighting for, I can't. Was Astrid ever in your top three? Oh, <laughs> this is so messy. They really did calculate and 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 think of everything these people said to ask them. <laughs> but I really want to know how accurate for real are these lie detector tests for real, though. Nina, do you think Shay should have been Black China? Yes. Ah! 
<laughs> that was secretly long. <laughs> really believe that she'll make it to the top. At the end of the day, it's, it's the top. Oh, Astrid, you don't let Coco get to you. Just because they don't believe that you can make it to the top, don't doubt yourself. Poor thing. <laughs> I know, but that's how it is, though, when you feel like half of the room don't even believe in you or see it for you. But don't let her get to your mama. I mean, so yeah, you're not going to make it to the top three, but still. <laughs> don't let them put that doubt in your head. That's what I'm here for, girl. Everyone else to see yourself in the top. Not even walked off to go laugh. I guess if she doesn't feel ready, she doesn't feel ready. I mean, you kind of contributed to that, but yeah. Affects everybody, but at least now we're on the same playing. Well, this feels more like a reality show than a drag show, if that makes sense. Like, yes, drag is a reality show, but it feels more like I'm watching like a, I don't know, loving hip hop or something, some kind of reality thing. Like, I mean, like it, but it's it's interesting, it's entertaining for the most part. Like, I'm not like bored, you know, but it just feels more like a reality kind of thing yeah, we need to get to yeah. work bitch <laughs> i've got some shit to do <laughs> cue in the 80s room music i want that jacket and i want that jacket inside of me right now <laughs> Girl, I'll right. Be like it wouldn't be because i don't trust hoes or it'd be because she's so small <laughs> uh, maybe yeah you think we trust each other but i definitely would let, Co let, let coco fall for all for, for cursing me out earlier <laughs> and her jacket is spiked you about to hurt me? <laughs> Maybe this is the acting challenge of the season. Well, at least you saved the black person for last. So there's progress. That's me in a horror movie. Trying to be serious, but somehow still smiling. Even though I'm being stabbed. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to see both. <laughs> but this is the look. <laughs> now, no shade. They could have maybe hidden the corset underneath better. That's cinching them. No shade, no two. You know, the fabric choice. Uh, you know, I mean, I like the red. Overall, I'll still rent it. But it could be, you know, a little better. Challenge. Our glamour ghouls must... It's that finger wave wig for me. What is it for you? Welcome to handsome Mr. Joe Bob Briggs. Who? And handsome? Where? Park your trailer is sufficient. Yo, that caller says, I voted for Trump. Fight me. Wait, another look? What? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, okay, it's one person, okay. This is, it's cute. The, what it's missing is, I think the legs are too, ooh, I, can, I can see the penis on the side. But I, same girl, I, look, I, them days when you put in your tights and you gotta pee, and then you go back to push it under, but you can't really do it, so it kind of shifts to the side. I see the ball, mama. The only issue I have with this outfit is the legs are too bare. Like, it either needed to all be black, the same leather, or fishnets or something. Because, like, all this, like, going on and then the legs are just so bare. I'm just like, it's still cute, though. I'm going to rent it. Oh, my God. I think she's doing that scene from The Lion King. Ow. You can't really never say nothing about her makeup. Well, besides it always being the same because like, it's so messy that it's I guess it's supposed to be. But I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. Like, this is like, if you're going to do the look from the ring, then make it extra like this. And so I'm going to buy it. Ah! <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, are they all supposed to be talking though? Because like, Hoza didn't say nothing. <laughs> Okay, this is cute though. Not the not I mean, even though I think the prosthetic probably could be a little better this time, like I'm not really getting I know she's going for the tails from the crypt. It could just could have been a little bit better. But it is cool to see like <laughs> her doing this like, you know, like my tails from the crypt look. He looked more like him. I'm just saying. <laughs> but um <laughs> It's cool to see, like, his wife or something, you know. I'm going to rent the look. I've changed a bit since you last... And she's even doing RuPaul's um, hairline. So that's always nice. We come in peace. Girl, same. Your hips, the way they're sticking out, same. When I wake up in the morning and my dad says, time for breakfast. Woo! It really goes up there. We come in peace. 
I mean, if you're going to come, it needs to be in peace, I guess. So. <laughs> this is cute, but it's like safe. And I wish you would have added like a red belt or something. Like a red like leather belt or something there. But it's cute. You know, it's Mars Attack. I'll rent it. Yeah! Uh, yeah! Okay, she's doing the monster from Fern Gully. I love that cartoon. No, really, she she's, she's doing like a cyberpunk-esque kind of take on the Predator. It's okay. I mean, I'll rent it, you know, for what it is. This is so long. Like, like it's like they already showed all the looks, but then they're doing this extra floor show. It's like, yeah, okay. But now that I think about it, who is Coco supposed to be? <laughs> who was her horror icon? Is it Elvira? I'm assuming a black version of Elvira. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, I don't know who it's supposed to be. Oh, is it Freddy Krueger? Because she has the nails? I don't know. She'll explain it. Someone said the boules, but do people really consider boules a, a horror icon? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's clever to kiss their ass and like have them love you, but it's like horror icons? Where? <laughs> I've never seen them in a horror movie that, that made them icon. But okay. I was not a huge fan of this look. Really? I felt like I went to Shocker. Y'all not being that big on her look. Nothing new. Neon Super Future. Well, and hold on. The worst part about it. Oh. oh. He said, tonight, I'm going raw, no condoms. Try me again. <laughs> Merge with the Crypt Keeper. Yeah. And a little homage to us, too. But what was the homage to y'all, though, with that look? And Eva is the one that would have went home. Oh, so Eva would have went home? Okay, interesting. It's time to call the judges. Bring up. Do y'all even need to bring the, the other judges out now? Y'all didn't sat here and de deliberated for a whole 30 minutes. <laughs> Dark with Victoria. <laughs> now when they say Victoria, I, I almost turn my head quickly. Like, oh, never mind, wrong show. Whew, thank God. Crip Keeper hair is made out of, but it is scary. Not her wig is scary, <laughs> but not her face. And that's a read. I think you really came to life. I think what I don't, don't like about her Crypt Keeper look is the, the color she chose. Like she looks, I don't know, like he, his color wasn't, I, mean, I know that she, she's not trying to be him exactly, but the color palette, I don't really, I don't know. It, like it's so, it's almost flat. Need some more color or definition or something. No, I hear it, literally. <laughs> I have a criticism of. Eva cannot stand Astrid. <laughs> the devil is in the detail, and tonight you took us to hell. Not a moment was. <laughs> Eva, hide your facial expressions, mama. The thing about doing the girl from the ring would be how to get people to identify. If they don't turn that Karate Kid Part Three music down in the background. <laughs> and I love the dangling VHS. I love dangalangs too. Oh God. But without that TV girl, she'd been fucked. Well. <laughs> you could have fell really far if you fucked it up. And I mean, there's some holes in the fishnets and those stains on the tights, but, you know. <laughs> and I just wanted to take the opportunity to say. I if they don't stop doing that, <laughs> they swear. <laughs> like you're trying to get a booger off your finger? What's going on? And their movements so the audience doesn't have to worry for you. They love showing this drama or making it seem like drama between Astrid and Eva. Like, Ashford is probably just looking at Eva like, oh, okay. But they're making it seem like she's reading her for filth. To, like, the, the bodysuit, which I like, but is it enough? I don't now, had had Ashford wore a bodysuit, you would have tore her apart, though. But it's okay if Eva wear one. Interesting. Dude, but it was a nice bodysuit. You know how I feel about bodysuits. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. That, that's why you should have said something. How so? Fuck. I'm surprised they called Hozo's name first. Like, out of all of them there, was she doing the best? Huh. And only two of you will be returning. Oh, so four girls are going on to that stage and only two are dropping. Okay, and two returning. We have to walk. Well, Astrid, get ready to put on your parachute. That way you'll at least have some time to, like, to land properly. <laughs> Is all in your control. Except for the fucking door, bitch! Okay. Well... <laughs> and just going on tour. There's more to this art and more to this experience. That's true, Eva. It's like a lot of a lot of the drag race girls don't get invited to do Murray and Peter tour. I mean, partly maybe we're not young enough that they want to sleep with. But um, 
Some of us will never be on that tour. Some of us will never be invited to do the Las Vegas show. But there's more to life than, than just those things. Maybe she should tour the trap door. I mean, I didn't get it, but okay. <laughs> Believe in you so fucking much. This room is full of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody believes it. They give up you. You go down the hole. Okay. It's not about giving up. Like, stop it. She already knows. Like, stop it. Like, it's like y'all always want to make say like somebody's giving up or like they're like da 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 inner saboteur. It's like no. Like, she's going off of what her feedback has been from the show, and the, from the show has been she could never be good enough. They have an issue with her costumes. Y'all tell her that she's not good enough. Y'all don't see her in the top three. So, yes, bitch, including all that, I'm going to put my own thoughts together that, yes, I'm going home. Yes, and that will make you give up after a while. <laughs> so, it's like, she didn't just start giving up because she wanted to. It's like, I mean, it's obvious. I don't know who's going home out of Astrid and Coco, but I should. You know who's going home, child. Stop it. <laughs> Astrid, I wouldn't be friends with any of these people after the show. <laughs> At all. Or Astrid said, Do you mind to mess up my mess up my paper plated um predator head? Okay. Astrid. <laughs> not you hear not you hear her in the box crying like Pangina. <laughs> No, I'm glad it's with Victoria because if there's anybody Yeah, Eva goes on. She couldn't even she couldn't even hold the tears to make us think that she's gonna stay. <laughs> it's Eva destruction for fuck's sake. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, drop her. Victoria Give this show an Oscar, an Emmy, a Nickelodeon Award, girl. <laughs> Which stomach hurts, Ray? Which one? <laughs> I wish Eva. <laughs> I wish it would have showed Eva snapping her finger like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tickled me, Mom. <laughs> Not that close up. <laughs> Somebody was clocking the booty honker brothers. They said, I see your queen trying to have a diverse cast, diverse top three, Asian, white, and black. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I like, okay, it's not because me and Coco had, well, I guess we had beef even though we never met each other. I, it's kind of weird to still see her there. I swear they're doing it just to spite me. <laughs> but no, for real, like, I know, like, she, they, or the editing or whatever made it seem like she started doing way better. But it just seems like it should have been somebody else for some weird reason. But good for her, though. I mean, you made it to the top. Good for you, girl. Like, I'm not going to take that from you. But it's like, you know, okay. Oh, uh, what do you guys think, girl? I tell y'all, this show is literally 90% talking and 10% drag. <laughs> Let me know down below what y'all think. Thank y'all for watching another Drag La Raw view. I'll see you for the next one. Stay beat. Stay beautiful. But most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. What's the problem? Come on. I'll take you home.